Hello, people. I'm back again and about time too. And this time he is in uh, various uh, different moods. But yeah, we're gonna continue. Uh, I got. Okay. I got. I, I I got okay. It was great. Uh, I think I killed like two bosses. I got every. I got every Kong, and now I'm missing only uh, two moves. So this could be the last session if, uh, if things go to go correctly. Four and a half hours in. Nice. What was I? What was I doing? Everything good. Didn't like that I had to reset my computer to fix the bitrate issue. But, you know, that's just how it is. Will this be a good mini game? Will this be a good mini game? Let's we'll find out. Let's find out all of life's great. It's not a good mini game. Let's fucking go. Oh, banana. This is a. Oh god, it's going so fast. I don't like this one. But what else is there? But I'm a gamer, and gamers can do these things, so honestly, if I failed that, I think I would've just left. Wait, again, the only time I think I ever tolerate slot machines in games is when I'm playing, like, Fire Red Leaf Green, and I really want the TMs for Ice Beam and, uh, Flamethrower and Thunderbolt. So those are really good TMs, but Fire Red and Leaf Green decided, nah, man, nah, fuck you. You gotta, you gotta gamble for it. Which I mean, on the plus side, that means you get infinite, infinite uses of uh, flamethrower, ice beam, and thunderbolt. But at what mental cost? Like I think last year, I literally did sit down with my Game Boy Advance and uh, and uh, grind out the coins in the Celadon lottery. Just so I could get Ice Beam. And maybe Thunderbolt? Maybe not Thunderbolt, I don't know. Cause like, I wanted, cause like I was using a Slowbro. I wanted Slowbro to have Ice Beam, cause he deserved it. But I don't think I needed Thunderbolt. Cause like, Magneton already learns it. Kinda of fucked up how, how like, Thunderbolt couldn't be learned naturally in like, early gens. They just didn't like like the idea of anybody having a consistent electric move. Donkey Kong can learn Thunderbolt via TM. 
And I think that's just great. Wow. These targets are alive, it's feel pain. Donkey Kong flooding the basement, just like what he did, which actually happens. Donkey Kong actually did this to me when I was like five. And we have five chances of catching, catching this brand new Pokemon. But I did it first try because I'm a gaming master, and I'm immune to every, I'm immune to every status effect. Oh, done. I know what I know what level bosses I've beaten. But I'm trying to remember uh, what which ones they were. Cause like I know I did I did do Aztec Forest Caves. So I got three bosses killed. I think I think they were King Kato, Dogodon, and then the other Dogodon. So I'm hoping I can find you know in case I'm. In case I'm fighting Mad Jack sometime soon. Which, g given the state of what the... Given my progress, I'm probably close to finishing this. This is not... This is not where I wanted to be. But, oh well. Live, live, laugh. Luigi's Mansion. This is not... Did I get the armadillo guy? No, I haven't. No, I don't think I've encountered either version of him, but that guy's really... That guy's easy. Ugh. Mad Jack is what I'm afraid of. Just because the game can, like... Like, you know, if I get to the boss fight and it is making me play as, like, Tiny Kong or someone else, I will show off what I had to do. Because the game, the last run, made me play the, bo the boss without a... Without the right move. Oh. But like other than that, like we have we have like a lot all the all the bosses that are left are easy. Well, I mean except the final boss, but uh final boss had multiple options in the multiple options in the randomizer setting. You can choose how many phases that the final boss has. And I didn't realize how long these runs were gonna be, so I think I only have three phases for the final boss. Which in hindsight I kinda kinda would would have liked to would like to have done the full the full five phases, but oh well. You 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 win some, you'll lose some. I'm not. I, I I need to return to Mario Odyssey, and I still don't know when I want to do that. Like I, like I'm gonna stream. I'm glad that I'm a, I've been able to like stream consistently, like on actual days where I'm where I say I'm going to. But just like I'm not sure, I'm not sure like why I don't don't feel it. I'm not feeling up for Mario Odyssey. I think what I want to do is Sunday. I have a new gimmick. Well, I mean, not like a new gimmick. Just something I'm not going to commit to because that was my idea of uh, Sundays being fun gimmick streams. 
but I think uh, Sunday what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a bunch of random N64 racing games and just like stream those. Not committing, not not really committing, just like playing a bunch of random racing games, but why not? Plus, I mean, this was supposed to not be commit. I wasn't supposed to commit to this, but I did anyways, because I love Donkey Kong. Yeah. Super fun. In fun, super fun in the sun. I could probably play when they get some good PlayStation 1 or PS2 experiences in. I remember, I, I, I did remember that I bought, uh, I got Psychonauts, which I hear is a really great game, and I'm saving, I, I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to save that for like a first time experience. But I don't know anybody that, I mean, I don't personally know anybody that like, Grew up with like Psychonauts, and I heard it, but I heard it's a really revered and loved game. And I wouldn't want to like walk in looking like Boo Boo the Fool, like, oh, fuck, oh, how do I, how do I go the platform? How much I can go to the ladder? How do I do it? How? And Rayman Origins will, uh, happen. After I, after I, uh, do Rayman 3. Which is... I'm not sure when I'm doing that. Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. Oh. All Simon told me about, about that game is that you tur Rayman turns into a foot and the game isn't as good as Rayman 2. You know how it is when you turn into a foot. Once again, the sound of this place, this song of that's just a jingle of wizardry is getting to me. Good, good lord, this song shouldn't have been randomized. But I don't make, but I don't make it up. I don't make it to pizza. I mean, I made the randomized rules, but I didn't, I didn't ask, I didn't want that to be the randomized thing. Walls are only a theory in Donkey Kong 64. Where am I? Being able to see is only a theory. Nothing else real. Kind of wild that like. Like this, this whole randomizer is theoretically playable on real hardware. I think that's beautiful. I don't even know. Oh, that's more than enough. All right, well, let's get these bosses out of the way. I keep putting them off because I don't like them. Wait, no. wall comp. Yeah. I'm not even doing anything funny to, like, walk through that wall. You can just walk right through it if you're anybody larger than Diddy Kong or Tiny Kong. That's, uh, I think it's one, that, that wall that I'm walk, I, I've been walking through, that's one of the few, like, notice, the notable things that patched out in the Japanese and European version. But which, those versions took out being able to swim right through vertical walls. Uh-oh. 
Oh god, it's gonna be Mad Jack. Oh god. I swear, this is if this is Mad Jack, I'm gonna have to. I don't have the twirl, so I'm gonna have to do the stupid thing I I told I I told the world about. Oh well, let's see. I'll try my best. Ah oh, fuck. Okay, you gotta do this. Look at that. Look how the hell the camera freaks out. This is not a. This is not a fun. But I'm gonna try my best because I already have experience. Oh, it was over there. Ugh. I mean, I had to learn all sorts of, like, nonsense I never would have learned in order to, like, continue enjoying Ocarina of Time randomized. So I guess I could, you know, get used to this. I don't want to. Like, this would be fine if the camera didn't, like, flip out like that. He's no, he's mad because this is a frantic factory is a toy factory meant for evil toys, and he came out of a reject bin. Like he was a he was the most evil toy of them all and he was too much for the evil toy factory. That's why he's so mad and why he's so jack. He's also mad because the key that he gives doesn't unlock anything, but it's still necessary. Like I remember I mean I probably told this told about this before on the Donkey Kongathon. But I got stuck on this boss super hard like as a kid because like the first two, again the first two bosses are just so easy it's just a piece of cake and then this guy just doesn't die like i i for some reason i thought like because every time you fall off the phase restart but as a kid i thought it meant the whole fight restarted for some reason But like, yeah, this guy and the pufferfish, like I just could never get past them, so I didn't, never saw past World 4. You're too evil, bro. I mean, granted, I know that the ponytail twirl is probably somewhere. I just don't feel like uh, finding it. I'm already at the boss, so I might as well. I might as well gamer. fight's almost over anyways. Also, it's like, could you imagine it's like the, the long con of like, after like years and years you finally beat this boss and then you hand in the key and the guy does nothing? Like, I beat the pufferfish like way before I ever beat this boss. Ow. And thankfully, the beating the pufferfish is what actually unlocks the world after. Oh, this camera. Ugh. I'm losing my coins. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there! Dang it. That's bad- that- that's just bad luck. I was watching a video talking about the history of this game's, uh, tool-assisted, uh, speed- speed run. Where the whole- 
the whole game is beaten in like 24 minutes or something. And like this boss, because this boss is necessary because the game, because key three doesn't unlock anything. Uh, they still made sure to check to see if you had key three to unlock the final boss. So instead of having all keys, you just need keys three and key eight. And Donkey Kong can do this boss really good because he can he's really good at jumping out of the air. What a yeah, what a meanie. I hate this guy. Also, it's like you 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 hit him three times, and then you're like, what do you mean? Everything in the world took only three hits, and this guy says no. Probably should have just let him squish me. This fight fucking sucks. Like this fight sucks, and I'm doing it without the move that they they like refuse to let you. They like you're supposed to have the twirl. And I'm pretty sure in the actual game they like refuse to let you in if you don't have it. But w w the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows, so here we are, watching as the camera falls into the ab uh, why'd I do that? Falls into the abyss. Like, I'm not counting how many hops he does, but it's like, what does it matter? Like, he's like invisible, and he's hopping like 80 times before the button shows up. And Lakitu's getting stuck underground. He's such a bad cameraman, I don't know why he's in this game. Just rump. And that's like, while I still don't like this boss that much, like these days, the. Uh, the Pufferfish is probably my favorite boss in the game. Puff boss, I think it is. Oh, thank goodness. The game just the game just threw me a bone like super hard. All right. Victory trombone. All right, no biggie. I hope I can still find the twirl move because Tiny Kong feels worthless without the ponytail twirl. All right. Oh my god, they keep dumping me back in this barn. They keep, like, I'm so tired of being sent to back at the barnyard for the Nintendo GameCube. Back at the barnyard really was a TV show that existed. That's the music I like to hear. Now, over here. Oh, I want to There's a ghost. Oh right, the boss is unlocked. Oh yeah, I remember I handed in all the bananas here, and then there was like, uh, do this with Tiny Kong, I think. Do I hadn't unlocked yet. So yeah, let's just get right into it. 
<laughs> Alright, here he is. Hey, this boss is unchanged. What do you know? Fun fact in the space game, Tiny Kong is never able to pick up a barrel. I always think about Yeah, this guy ruled. In the in the in the beta version he talked. Which I think is wild. Like Fucking, he goes like, I'll crush you! You'll never defeat me! And like other things, and I think it's just wonderful. I mean, it kind of checks out when you think about how the opening cutscene has like everybody talking. Well, K. Rule and that one guy working for him, they talk. That's hilarious. But like then, but then like that's it. There's like no voice acting for the rest of the game except for like the announcer. Yeah, I can imagine this guy going, oh, I'll, I'm gonna fucking get you. You'll never defeat King K. Rule. Alright. Well, let's do more, two more bots. Although I still think, I think I still need to, uh, Get banana, get enough bananas to get in there to get to the final boss and level. Still thinking about how the final level uh, bonus mini games are randomized, which bodes poorly. Because well it's like again, the game could hand me a like any terrible mini game. <laughs> And make that necessary to beat the final level. Right. It's spooky out here. Fall down. Right. Already got that guy. All right. Cool. Weird that it's been like a month since fake, like fake E3. And everyone's where everyone thought that we were just gonna get like a really huge Nintendo Direct out of nowhere. And I mean, I, I mean, I would have believed it too. And then it didn't really happen. Oh fuck, run away. They did not announce the sequel that the sequel to Donkey Kong 64 was in development. But one day they will. And I'll be there. And I'll be square. Or else. Wow. Big toy block. They say that they're your real homies, but then they're actually not... They're not... They're not there, and they're actually square. I guess they never miss, huh? This 
motherfucker's purple, that means he, that means bad things. Remember, if you see something in nature that's purple, one, uh, that's not naturally occurring. I don't think a lot of things appear bright purple in nature. And two, that guy is only weak to grenade. That's just, just, those are the two things I know from Donkey Kong 65. I hope I'll be able to find Tiny Kong's last two. I know they're somewhere. Probably at a shop I've already seen, but I haven't had been there with Tiny yet. Oh. We're underwater. I wish I was underwater. Ooh. Like, yeah, man, you did it. You found out how to breathe underwater. You can explore all the ocean. And find out you can't see- you can barely see underwater. And that you are not immune to undersea pressure? Or- or nearby, like, pred predators be seeing you and being like, Oh fuck, oh fuck, that looks- that looks like a bite to eat. I'm not talking about sharks. I'm not sure what the first- I'm not sure, like, what the first, like, ocean predator would, like, would be to, like, just attack somebody unprompted. Though it's almost always, I mean, like, majority of cases are sharks. Only because they, they, like, sharks only sense, they can only, they, the way they know what things are is that they take a bite. And they don't like the taste of helmet. But it's like they don't know. Shark did nothing wrong. Dolphins did everything. Although I don't think dolphins have eaten people. Yeah. There's never... Remember, your chance of being attacked by a dolphin is always, like, a non-zero percent chance. Be careful. Boulder. Wait, this is a cannonball. For some reason on the Wii U Virtual Console release of this game, sometimes that cannon just vanishes. Boy, I was not good at this one. But not anymore. Yeah, if you like, I remember like on the Wii, where, like I got on top of that cannon and it would just vanish. Strange world, up there. No, let me up there. No, no, no. What was that? What the hell was that pivot that guy did? Never seen an enemy just, enemy like that just turn around like that. I always switch to Lanky underwater because Lanky has the fastest swimming, allegedly. Hold out. And I don't like watch my bot over and over again. To re exactly remember what what I've done. Yeah. All right, hold that. Again. Uh, it's either probably either in the last two moves are probably either in Frantic Factory or in, they're in that one tunnel in uh, Creepy Castle. That's currently like a randomized group somewhere. <laughs> Fucking sped up game over music.
Welcome to bonus all right, stage. Alright, let's say no, no problem. Both peril path panic because uh, it's a the fairies are panicking because they're in peril on this path. They chose, they could just fly over it, but they're stupid. Like, they could just fly over it. These crocodiles aren't gonna, like, get up. Wow. I really love the whole, like, Alright, well you got ten, so it doesn't matter what happens to the rest of them, they can all perish. I missed. It's hard to explain, but those enemies look like they're from, like, they're from, like, a goofy movie. Does that make any sense? Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, time to use my Jimmy Neutron thinking. The music pop, so I'll give it the time of day, just like last time. Hey, first try. I'm I'm very gamers today. Normally that one sucks, but also the timer was shorter than normal. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Pretty radical even. How many do I got? 285. So, oh, check, time to check. The requirements. That dude's so big! 204. Right. Are you sold out? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't want to go back up there. Stop it. <laughs> Goodbye, Large King. Why 204? It's like a weird number. Maybe I walked in earlier and just like, dumped a bunch of bananas in the class. Who knows? I kind of wanted to have like a generally like a, a somewhat like middle like middle to high amount of bananas required, but uh, the reco the uh, the randomizer settings had it had like more of like a variable. So unless I set, I uh, set the prices manually, I would have had to. Uh, it was either like having a like a general variable or having it me setting the number. 
And I didn't want to know the so This is good enough. Alright. Oh boy. It's either Army Delo 2 or Puff Puff. Either way, I mean, like, I like Puff Puff. Alright. See, see what's going on. Hey, this guy. Welcome back. Wow, the credit. Beautiful end of PK Isle. I think, like, since the makeup of this boss isn't that much harder than his first encounter, like, it's really no- it's one thing to point out that, uh, this boss- this- like, this boss does not have the shockwave attack in Jungle J, but in the Chaos demo, where he talks, he did have the shockwave. So I think, like, I mean, like, either they decided to make it easier, or like they didn't they had like a unique boss for Crystal Cave and they decided and they, well not decided but like didn't have the time. So they put the harder they put him here and made it easier for, for Dave. I don't think they just removed the shockwave attack because it was maybe a bit much on it. This is easy to understand, like everyone can do a backflip. Even Diddy Kong. Notably in the chaos demo, like there's an unused enemy that's a regular armadillo, which we're seen in uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country. Like these guys, like they would, they, they would roll around and if you defeat the barrel. So maybe they were meant to be like, he, like lackeys that he would send out. And that'd be an interesting phase, or at least for like the Jape version. Like Jungle, the Jungle Jape's version has like multiple multiple entrances to the boss arena so maybe he would have like sent like the smaller armadillos out and they would like run across the thing who knows always interesting to theorize what the unused content in this game had would have been i just always wonder what what this game would have been like at full completion although i think about that for a lot of games I always love that missile. Hilarious. Bye, bye There he goes. Where's he going? What? Why did he? Why did? What? Why? What? What happened to him? Who did this? Bring, bring him back. All right. We only only have one more key. One more key and approximately ten more. But. Yeah. Again, didn't actually like. I didn't actually like do like some fancy trick. Like you could just walk right through that wall for fun. I assume. Okay, I think I remember where where factory was. Yeah, got him. You say got him, but also I already forgot what I said in the past ten seconds. When the when the frantic is factory. This is what this is what happened. This is what two coffees at like two coffees at noon does to a motherfucker. Oh. 
Oh, this banana part's really not activated still. This randomizer will never stop feeling like a fever dream. I've had like at least 100 Donkey Kong 64 related dreams. And this certainly is this is this is certainly up there. This will certainly will this will go in my highlight. My this will go in my compilation of weird Donkey Kong 64 related dreams flash nightmares. Okay. Alright, well this ain't that bad of an area to check. Again, I love the, the wonderful forest music playing in this cave. Again, and also, like, something about, like, only knowing about Fungi Forest, uh, Fungi Forest, Crystal Caves, and Creepy Castle as, like, text on, like, a Nintendo fan site, and not knowing what, what they were like. That's, like, I always think about that, because, again, like, I never got past World 4, so I never knew what these levels looked like, and I would dream about, like, oh, what could they be? What could they be? And it's still surreal all these years later to, like, know them by heart. Back to the top. <laughs> Where am I going? Where? Who am I? The last two moves were here the whole time. This would have been useful ten minutes ago, but it's fine. I'm a gamer. Gamers don't need to float through the air and climb up trees. Not anymore. Not since the, not since the war. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll do this. This isn't. This technically isn't the frantic factory. This is creepy castle. Just like here's a mini game that takes place in frantic factory, but you're actually in creepy castle because the levels are just connected, I guess. I remember watching a uh, uh, fucking Varg Skeletor Joel fucking struggle on this. And that's like, I mean, I inherently understand that from a whole, like, because like every, it's kind of, it's kind of how every minigame in this game feels. But this isn't, this ain't that bad. Like compared to, especially, you know, like compared to other shit that this game throws at you. Oh shit. 
All right, well, I lost last second. That's what I get for saying it's easy. Well, I do have to collect three more coins than normal. And I did just hit a, I hit a bomb at the last second, as all gamers know what to do. A good thing the game gives you five chances. It lets you miss the gate, like, exactly five times. That's pretty generous. Yeah, y'all y'all be taking your only possession. Fuck you, Hot Wheels. Yeah. I should probably check, actually go to that, the final level lobby to see how many, uh... How many bananas it takes to get to the center of center of my own skull? Head MP music. Ow. Welcome to bonus day. Yeah, sure, why not? Been dealing with many ants. But this is a fly. Whatever whatever animal is whatever animal is appearing in in massive quantities in my household to harass me changes uh, every week. Like, it's like, shit, dude, sorry, I wanted to leave, like, like, I'm sorry for leaving my window open, like, 69 degrees outside. Ooh. Funny little ants trying to harvest the, you know, the coffee rings I leave behind. Joke's on you. Mustard gas. Yeah. Since there's like five identical uh, areas that look like, it's really hard to remember which ones I've done or not. Although since that coin was still there, I guess I haven't been here. Good thing my homing ammo didn't work on that guy. Okay. Am I the am I the am I the guy pointing the reticle at Diddy? Was I was I the bad guy the whole time? Why is this happening? Who would do sauce a thing?
game over. Okay, I think I remember. Spooky jungle. Hang on, let me... Let me cash these in. Wait. Man, I can't wait to hear what the final top stage is replaced with. Randomized Rise is good and all, but it's getting me in the mood to play. Be playing this game for real. Probably not on stream. Oh fuck! Since I'm, you know, I or I'm already, you know, I'm already just doing this. I'm down to play this game like I always do every like two or every two months. I was right. Okay, I was right. This is, this is frantic fuckery. Might as well get some good bananas in here. And we'll uh, fight the last boss before we head to the final level. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be radical. It's gonna be even awesome. Oh, fuck. Everything's flying at me with piss and vinegar. Please? Ah, oh, shit. Bonus stage. I don't want to play the slot machine. Oh, it's easy. Okay. I still stand by the fact I did not want to do that. But I didn't anyway. I'm simply one hell of a butler. I'm simply one hell of a butt. Yeah. Wow. My 5.30pm burrito is starting to hit. I don't remember if I did this. Nope. I need to be careful with this one because I'm gonna get these balloons now because usually I abuse the fact that the game when you when you summon enemies here, the game gives you infinite ammo so you don't like gigabotch and not be be, be get stuck. But I remember stopping to do that in one of these randomizer runs, but one of the enemies flew through a wall and I couldn't find him, and thus I could not leave. It really was a tragic mistake. Oh my god. Is 
These guys are menaces. How many enemies, like, those purple claptrap appear, like, very rarely in the normal game. But, like, they're, because like, they have the potential to be common, it's, like, astounding how it's, like, how the difficulty is increased by, uh, having an enemy, having a grenade-only enemy appear so often. I'm not sure when I should finally get around to streaming Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, and it's, it's, I don't know why it's taken me so long to like stream Banjo. Oh shit! I don't know why. It seems. Like, it makes sense. It makes sense, like, it was perfect because for my stream, because I love playing that game over and over. Another game I love playing every two months. But I don't know why. I could probably beat Bandit Kazooie in one go. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Probably wouldn't be, like, voicing all of it. I mean, it's been a while since I've had the voice. The favorite thing in the world, clearly. Wow. Donkey Kong 64 enemies move like how spiders move. Does that make any sense? They're keep posing. Remember what's like, there's... Like, this is one of the two very elaborate like, mini-bosses that... And, like, no, there's, like, no mini-boss encounter like this or the spider ever again in this game. There's a big, giant version of those guys at the club, but he doesn't have a different model at all, and he's the same durability. So I don't think that guy should count as a mini-boss. Yippee! I fucking love the KLMZ jiggle. It's like I'm being. It's like I just got. It's like I, I just got like one of those like giant like sixty dollar like lollipops that's bigger than your head. Like yippee! Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm actually below.
satanic music. Alright, well that should be one one more banana to go. You know if you know well if the gate is still still uh, reads a hundred. But we'll find out. I'm not gonna I'm gonna climb this contraption for no reason. Mostly because there's like a splat up there. Uh I mean, I haven't been collecting every single Kasplat. Oh, but that guy's there. Because, like, every blueprint you hand in is another... is another, uh... uh minute for the final level. And... I mean, I could do it. I mean, not to brag, but, like, I can do the final level with only, like, a few blueprints, probably. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do that, though. Well, I mean, hey, like, the fear is, like, I'm gonna have- I'm gonna see, like, a terrible- Like, like, any of the ten minigames could be a really bad one. That could take me time. That's bad, because if I run out of time, the world ends, and I can never turn the game on again. That's the mentality. I would- I remember as a kid, like, playing, like, Banjo, and, like, I would fall to my death in the last level, and that would be the last thing I'd do in that, in that save. Mostly because that game punished you super hard for dying. Collect all the notes again, idiot. A hundred bananas. Nice. Again, I still don't know if I'll need more than a hundred, but you never know. How did I miss that? Donkey Kong 64 scientist explain. How did I... How did I miss those bananas? Butterfly. Donkey Kong hates it. He hates butterflies. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with this man? Being able to switch Kongs on the fly is pretty nice. Not sure how I feel about it in terms of like... Like, having this in the base game. I was already- I already figured out my route- my- the way it- my- my roots my route through this game uh, with without the instant Kong transmission but like I'd say it's pretty it's a pretty good feature if you hate finding uh, the hate having the switch every so often awesome. all right yeah sure why not <sighs> oh, they're fat. Well done! How, but how, that's how the DK64 announcer guy likes to stay. Now we know, in case we have a, or if, in case I ever have a barbecue with the Donkey Kong 64, uh, the announcer guy. Wow, that guy's unchanged. Nice. I could never climb this whole... I could never climb this, uh... whole, like, area of machinery as a kid. Common theme, I know.
Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go fuck up pop up pop toss. Pop toss. Right. No, no, I don't want to fall off. Fuck, I wish I could eat like a hundred red bananas, eighty blue bananas, and like seventy something green bananas. That'd be awesome. That'd be fucking awesome. And all this, and then I find out that, like, there are, like, red bananas in real life. And green bananas exist. Like, we know about that. Those those ones just aren't ripe. Those ones aren't edible yet, Chunky. Stop eating them. Those aren't ready. Oh, banger music for the best boss in the game. Fucking awesome. I remember I remember when I told Cam that he had to learn these boat controls before he fought the boss. And he got to the text box to explain the controls and then said I didn't I I did not read that. Oh god. Everything is cool and awesome. what you get for swimming in the taser the taser lake this is lanky kong's domain not yours Lanky Kong is the only Kong that can drink salt water instead of fresh water. Now all the other Kongs would get sick, like how you probably normally would. Well, maybe they can drink salt water, I don't know. Yeah, there are animals that probably have to drink salt water. Maybe? I don't know. The only, yeah, you know what? A regular would probably be like the only one that could could drink salt water. I don't know much about like Borneo, so like you no. Know, well, I remember hearing that Linky Kong is supposed to be symmetric in my attack. I don't know much about, but I would like to learn. Oh, that's the last boss. 
I'm gonna hand in uh, these last couple of blueprints, and then we can, you know, head to the final level. Yippee! 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 Oh well, yes, all the keys. Blanky Kong feels no emotion. He's thinking about being sick. No. No, a grenade. I wish Lanky Kong was immune to frag grenades. Like, that feels, feels like that should just be a given. Hopla. I miss. Donkey Kong got has got got it though. I was thinking about someone like the fact that like somebody made an entire like so we made like a custom map in the TF2 that's just this entire level, including the boss fight, sort of. Sort of. And that's just fucking awesome. Useless war. I've got one donkey, Bumpy Kong. So let me, let me, let me do the math with my four semesters of math of knowledge. Uh, what I got? Thirty. Oh, wait. Belt default ten minutes. Okay, got twenty. Twenty plus seven. Plus seven. I got thirty. All right. So with this amount of blueprints, I have like thirty-four minutes to beat the final level. Which shouldn't... shouldn't be that hard. Shouldn't. Might be. Who knows. I think the maximum is like... No, wait, no, no the maximum is 50 minutes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I don't think I even needed to hand that in initially. I think I could have just walked right in. Again, key three and key eight. Okay. Yippee, I'm having a fun time on Crocodile Isle. No, come back. You not want to be saved? Is the guy just not there? What the fuck?
Did I collect those? Did I collect fuck a hundred bananas for nothing? What the fuck? There has to be there. I didn't like turn them off. I don't think. Hundred six. Oh no, there. Oh, only forty six. Okay, that's not. That sure isn't a hundred. All right, well, break a leg. Here we go. Thirty four minutes before DK Isles is destroyed. I really like the aesthetic of the level fucked up cave factory. I kind of wish it was a full world, that'd be cool. Makes me want to frolic. Time cut down simply just by having the quick, the quick song switch. The randomizer also has uh, several options for uh, this level. Like uh, there were options like as to where to start. Like you could skip the whole, you could skip this whole thing. This whole, you could start at this segment. Like you know, like all the options. Because options are good. Options are cool and awesome, kind of radical. Also, also, I think it's really cool to be exploring an area that you only saw in a uh, cutscene. Pretty good. On that work. Don't you get teeth? Donkey Kong has no teeth on his model. Think about it. All right. Mini game number one, let's see what it is. Welcome to okay. Bonus day. All right. <laughs> the pro strategy. I don't need to dodge. No zingers, I can just do that. Well Goal achieved. Goal achieved is such a weird way of saying, like, I did it. We get did it. Fucking weird. Okay. We're holding the Kong hostage. Irony. This is a saw trap. I think I've said that every time I've ever seen this mini game on screen, but this is a fucking saw trap. Make your choice. These are probably serious movies. Not that big on horror, I just don't like gore. What was that evil laugh? Oh, right, the timer. There's like a quirk in the this level's timer where King K every every 10 minute mark, King K. Rule does an evil laugh. And then I think when it gets down to like 10 or 5 minutes, like the laugh it has to start happening way more frequently. It's evil.
evil beast on my floor. Game over. This is no laughing match. Oh, to bonus oh. stage. They really love giving me this slot machine minigame. This is the third time in this session alone. Okay, not bad. Seems I've exhausted the harder berry. What? Ow. This game's rigged. I want my I want my money back. Well done. Kong Vegas. Welcome to bonus day. This again? Alright. I don't know if this is like a different, like, variant or not. Yeah, this is looks like the same mini game I just did. Can I get up there, please? Chun chunky, get up there. Alright, this seems to be a bit different. Well done! Woo! These banana metal collectibles are weird because uh, banana metals in the in the beta version, all of them were collectible like that instead of being like automatically given for collecting 75 regular bananas. I think they changed that because they wanted... I think it was like because they wanted regular bananas to have like a point. After... Like after you've like already opened up the box. Because you can... Because I think... I think they give you backtrack to earlier levels of Kong. Like they... I mean they would have had all the colored bananas anyways even though they would have been worthless. So maybe they figured... Ah fuck. Might as well give you a reward for going back. Oh my god. It's again. Oh, oh, oops, all speedy swings, sort, sorty. Sorty? What the hell is a sorty? Get out of my office. Sort I? What? what are these new words that only Donkey Kong 64 uses? Woo! So good. Welcome oh, shit. Stage. Oh, boy, are you... This is the fun. Well, thankfully, this doesn't appear to be an unused variant, so I think I have this memorized. Alright, no problem. 
this minigame has like eight unused variants. Including ones where you have to collect coins at the same time. It's, it's nuts. Fucking stealth. Like stealth maze with coins at the random areas. Oh. Trying to think about it. Yeah, I guess having if you have have to do all the help in every instrument is uh, ne necessary. I, I try to say mandatory and necessary at the same time, like for it's a brand new word. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Welcome to bonus stage. Okay. I like this. I like Mad Maze Mall. I think it's kind of a shame that like this mini game only shows like twice. I think it's a really cool idea, running around a maze and killing enemies instead of fucking hiding from them. Like, oh no, Donkey Kong's been caught by a mall cop. Like, what is he gonna do? Like, you're Donkey Kong, just tear his arms off. Like, what's stopping you? Paul Blart will not stop Donkey Kong. Mark my word. Bonus yeah, stage. fuck it, why not? Can't believe this minigame has showed up four times in this level. Well done. <sighs> These are some baby challenges Link is getting. Where is it? Right up there, bro. Oh, my bitrate isn't fucking shitting itself. Okay, that square and it's red. To and we're pl day. doing more stealthy snoop. Okay. I love the clown music just turning on. What a tone setter. Okay, well, thankfully, this was the easier, easier variant. I'm the one that's over in, uh, Sten Tekken's. Alright. Wow, what a, what great finality. I have 20 minutes to hit this fly eight times. Am I, hitting it, am I hitting the same fly eight times, or am I hitting eight different flies? Who knows? Gotta hate this fucker. Can't stand him. Oh no, it's happening. It's, oh no. The peer pressure is just too immense. I can't do this mini game for 20 minutes. Evil laugh. What if I hurt you? I'm like, oh, really? I've been, I've been outdone. This is where the run die because I can't hit this fucking fly. This big bug. 
Sound effect just cracked into my ear. I don't know what that was. Alright, the mystery begins. Alright, now we can get the last key and fight the final boss. Hell yeah. Very cool. Didn't realize how much, uh, how little progress we had left. But I probably should have figured that. Huh. Sad that no 101% ending, but I don't. I'm not doing this rando to play a fucking. get 101%. I don't think, like, 101%, like, yeah, I turned off getting the Nintendo coin and the Rareware coin because I didn't want to play Arcade Donkey Kong. Okay, so it's, it's this door is just open. But also, apparently, having uh, arcade the Arcade Donkey Kong coin already collected means I can't get the other banana. I can't get the banana that the arcade hides. For some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I guess I just had an option to, like, combine them together. Alright, well, that's the last... That's it. Okay. Now, let's, uh, fucking beat the game. How many ammo, why not? I should collect, like... Fifth, like... I should collect 65 or more bananas just just for fun. Yippee! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Yippee! Yay! That's the last key. And yet, sound gives me the sound of a failure. Right. Good thing this shortcut. Alright, final boss. Go, it's only three phases. Alright, Lanky Kong. This is a pretty... This phase is a bit of a hot mess. Let's go in. There's just like 45 different things going on at once. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you slipped on the banana peel. One you should have ever seen. Come on. Up on the banana pillow is so funny. Yeah, what I thought, motherfucker.
I'm pretty sure sometimes he just does not. He, he will just walk right over the banana peel and nothing will happen. Which, I mean, you know, that's just. Look, you just gotta expect that sometimes. Sometimes he'll just not slip on the banana peel. And that's okay, America. Alright, well, that's it. It's over. Uh, the chunky phase is never a randomized because it has to end on the chunky Kong phase. So I wonder if I got tiny, uh, Diddy, or Danky. Under which one? I don't think this boss is like. Maybe it's on par with the. Okay, Donkey Kong phase. Right. Maybe it's on par with the other. the SNES game final bosses. I don't know. I think Donkey Kong Country 2 has a fucking brutal. Uh, final boss. But also, one of the big differences is, uh, those games, like, give you, like, two hits at a maximum, and sometimes a re like a refill. And this game gives you, like, 12 hits. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Cam, what's up? Are you living the truck life? I'm beating video games. Cam, my copy of NASCAR 99 is counterfeit. It never was real. All right, I remember now. I can... I can cancel my own animation, too, you know. I am a podcast. I was thinking about that, like, my... I was thinking about, it's like, my stream... I was like, feeling like my streams feel like podcasts on time. So I'm trying to find out, like, I'm trying to figure out things to say while I play this video game the most optimally anybody has ever played a fucking video game. Uh. I'm a pong cat. I'm a rude boy. Where's the boy, the bro? I like this microphone guy. Alright, Chunky, let's go. Why is going ape? I like how King K. Roll has the passive ability to turn invisible for some reason. I miss. Get yourself a man who can turn invisible. Get yourself a Mr. Cellophane. Yay! Yippee! Woohoo! The theme of Little German Boy. Ow. Too bad Chunky Kong like, sacrificed himself to stop King K. Rule, and that's why he's not in another game. It doesn't look like it, but he absolutely like those punches took his power away. He like he he's a hero. When they say that a hero will save us, uh, I'm not gonna stand here and wait. And they say that. I just had the idea of a video in my head for years. I don't I don't know what kind of dope what kind of dope this is. It's probably indicative as to how my mind works, but it's just the idea of the video is just like a Windows movie maker, like it's just like the official default art of Chunky Kong. And it just slowly zooms in while uh 
that song from the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man plays. And they say that a hero will save us. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. Oh, by the way, game's over. I did it. I beat the game. Hey, it's back in volume. Listen to my voice. What? Oh, it's de -sync. Oh, oh, okay. The, your streams are desynced. Okay. Enjoy my multiple powers. 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 Is this song ever gonna change? Okay, well, no, don't do it. Okay, rule, you're on main, don't do it. Ugh. This goes on for 25 years. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sunday, I'm hoping... I'll, I'll get a bunch of, uh, racing games over N64 and I'll stream those. Some good, uh, some bad. Some I've never played. And when I mean like racing games, I mean like I'll, I'll probably even play some F Zero X and Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing. And cruising. Cruising USA. Hooray, it's over. Video games have died. And then they never, and then K. Roll was never seen outside of the spinoff again. What is this anxiety credits music? All right, well, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think I might. I'll definitely come back to Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer as like a stream because I love it. And you know. I was thinking, yeah, like, randomizers are probably, like, a good thing to come back to. Like, I love playing Ocarina of Time randomizers well, every once in a while. This is really good, because it's, uh, it's a nice, convenient excuse to, uh... Oh, yeah, those are the developers that randomize, Tudos and Balam. But, uh, this is a con very convenient excuse to, uh, play this game again. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, shout out to every... For like Bismuth and like all these other people that work on this random. I think it's very, it's very cool how you know this uh how this like came to be outside of a randomizer standpoint. I played beta versions of this. I played weird patch versions of this. It's very nice to see this uh, randomizer get to a uh, full 1.0. You know, I can't wait to you know see what like future updates happen. Look, there was rain. There was rain involved. The sky itself made this randomizer a possibility. Wow. Everybody made a test for tonight. Everybody who worked on this deserved like ten like ten thousand dollars. Hello, Funky Kong. Funky Kong just gyrating his ass on the camera for no reason. All these people are radical. I'm really glad that the credits theme was randomized too, because this is a really good song for it to be randomized to. Dunk song. <laughs> Revan. Why isn't Donkey Kong green? This is not white, the color. Sir Smack breaks back. Nice. Video James. You beat I think I've heard of Video James before. Might be playing one right now, even. Yeah. Ugh. 
Okay, they're not entirely sure when I'm gonna come back to Mario Odyssey, but I'm hoping I can, you know, I'll come back to Mario Odyssey Tuesday. That'll be nice. Okay. Hell yeah, those guys are pretty important too. I don't know what it is. I mean, like, I can't think of it saying, like, yeah, man, like, it's just been so sweated inside of my house and outside of my house. It's hard to, like, sit down. You've been playing DK64Randomizer.com. Y'all check that out. This Randomizer's radical. Like, I'm fucking, I love this. I love this. I love these guys. I don't like this guy. I don't like this hard. I should probably check out that Discord. I don't, I don't join a lot of Discords because I'm, because of anxiety. I'm intimidated by the whole like I click on a Discord link and it's like you've been invited, and I panic and I exit the page and I shut off my computer. But, you know, maybe I'll change that one day. I should probably make my own Discord. I should figure that out one day. So all the everybody can hang out at the Donkey Kong area. Now let's uh, yeah, that's it. There's no more Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong was never real. He never happened. Let's just look at the percentage. All right, six six hours twenty minutes. Nice. Fifty-two percent. Kinda of crazy with the game that you get away with. Alright. Well, that's the end of the stream. I hope y'all liked it. You know, whether you watch live or you watch the, the VOD. You know, you're radical. You're awesome, even. Uh, I hope- I will hopefully be back, uh, this Sunday to, uh, play some assorted N64 racing game. For fun. Or possibly Malk. Either way, I'm gonna be playing, like, Diddy Kong, not, D Diddy Kong Racing, and, like, Vicky Speedway USA and other, other weird bullshit. Alright, well, thank y'all for showing up. See you next time. Bye!